everyone, my name is Humayun Shivzadi and the purpose of this video is showing you guys how you can create a 3D segmentation from CD scan images using Mimic software in a simple way, so stay tuned. To create a 3D model of a particular bone using Mimic software, you need to do the segmentation just for the AIM bone model. So imagine your CD images include a few bones other than the main bone that you want to produce the three-dimensional model. You need to choose and separate the certain bone from the other bones at the first place. In my case, the CD images include scapula and humerus, and I'm gonna just build the 3D model of the scapula bone. So I need to separate it from the other bone. All right, we're gonna get started here and go through how you create a model using Materializer software, which is Mimix and Trematix. Uh, this is Mimix which is the portion that's responsible for segmenting a medical image. I've already gone through Trematic in my former videos a bit, if you want to refer. Uh, so this whole presentation is just a little bit unrehearsed, almost intentionally, just to kind of, you know, uh, show you a really simple way to start using Mimics. I'll prepare more videos about using Mimics in simple ways and show you more features of this software in the future. Here is this the scapula and humerus bone, and this is imported to Mimix. I'm not gonna get into details on that. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, I have uh, an anonymized Diacom dataset, and through the new project wizard, I was able to import that Diacom file. So in the GUI, you can see the coronal axial and sagittal anatomical plane. The first thing you need to do is going to the mask section under the project management tab. Here, project manager tab and mask section to build a mask. In this area, hit the right click and choose new mask. To create new mask by defining upper and lower threshold ranges. And that brings up the thresholding module and basically what it, what this does. First, you need to uh, choose the bone uh, CD for predefined threshold set uh, algorithm um, because you want a bone mask, right? And it says every pixel that was a uh, house value unit value between uh, 226 and 3071. Uh, we want to capture that and make that part of our segmentation. Uh, we're just going to click OK. And that's going to create a new model here. Uh, it's going to be called uh, green. I can rename it to scapula. And you can see it right away if you want to segment out the bone manually. It's a little bit tricky and also extremely time consuming. Uh, so what you're going to do is go into the segment section here in the taskbar and use the region growing feature, which is the third one. Region grow window will pop up, uh, as you can see, uh, you need to choose the source and target. So basically, um, in this case, the source include all bone and you just want to segment the scapula. And the target will be the blue new mask, which is the scapula. You need to check the uh, keep original mask uh, for possible future inquiries and also check the multiple layer key. Uh, usually for models that the parts are fairly far from each other, I mean, not to stick with one another. Uh, you can use either uh, 6 or 26 connectivity, but for more complicated models, I would suggest to choose uh, 6 connectivity so that the region growing will happen more precise and smooth. So basically, 6 connectivity means that every node will connect uh, to its neighbor nodes in 6 directions uh, to spread all the pixels. So I'm going to choose 6 connectivity. Afterwards, you need to hover your circle over one of the anatomical planes and choose your desired bone, uh, which in my case is scapula to be segmented. So uh, choose this one, which is the scapula. 
And as you can see, the scapula is uh, separated from the other bones in uh, blue color. Uh, so you can hide the others. Uh, the other bones uh, to just see your segmented desired bones and yeah it's done uh, through the next videos i'm gonna provide more information about how to make a 3d model in a simple and fast way using mimic so uh, we welcome your comments on this and be happy to answer any question you might have as well bye till the next video